Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, uh, here I am again Dian, so uh, Actually this video is dedicated to you Who want to learn Bahasa Indonesia um, And maybe uh, for you The foreigner who come to Indonesia And want to communicate With the people in Indonesia And maybe you can watch this video And I will give you some tips That can be used in communicating with the people in Indonesia well so today I would like to share about um, the slang word so like the um, American maybe or um, England or wherever you guys have the slang word so do we uh, we also have some slangs word that are uh, usually used in the society when we communicate with friends in the daily activities. Okay, so uh, let's start with uh, the word uh, I. I for the formal formal situation, uh, we use saya, right? Uh, but in the informal situation, especially in the daily spoken, when we communicate with friends, uh, we, we, we usually use uh, the terms uh, aku, gue, if it is in the uh, Jakarta, maybe they use it, uh, use the word gue, gue, mm, and sometimes uh, they also said gua, gue, <coughs> gue or gua. And then uh, for the word kamu, for the word kamu or uh, you in English we say it you and in Bahasa Indonesia we say it kamu for the formal situation. But in the daily speaking we say we use the term um, lu or lo or. Uh, if sometimes uh, kau, but it depends on the place. The uh, yeah, it depends on where you go in Indonesia because Indonesia has a lot of uh, islands. So when you come to uh, Sumatra, uh, the the terms like uh, kau or ko is usually found. Okay, next, uh, the next word, uh, lelah or tired. If they said, um, we are so tired in formal situation, we said it uh, like, uh, saya sangat merasa lelah, saya sangat lelah. Uh, in the informal situations or in the daily speaking, uh, we usually use uh, the uh, the terms capek deh. The word capek uh, deh or the phrase capek deh is usually found in the daily conversation. And then uh, when uh, when we want to say uh, really and inform in the formal situation, we can say uh, benarkah benarkah demikian that in informal situation uh, the people usually use the, the terms uh, beneran or uh, emang bener or uh, cheers so uh, yeah uh, that terms is usually uh, used in the daily conversation and then uh, for the word no in the formal situation the Indonesian usually use tidak but in informal situation uh, we usually use um, ga engga or ga or ga engga or ga or ga and then um, for the terms don't care in formal situation we usually say uh, tidak peduli but 
in the informal situation or speaking we usually use the word um what is it sorry tidak peduli ya oh so uh, in informal situation we said uh, emang gue pikirin or peduli amat okay emang gue pikirin or sometimes emang gue pikirin um, they say AGP AGP stand for emang gue pikirin and then uh, for uh, the word oh my god in English you guys usually say oh my god but in Indonesian uh, for uh, formal formal situation they said astaga or ya Tuhan but in informal situation in the daily uh, spoken yeah well when the teenager speaks they usually say uh, anjir or anjay or anjoy or jir okay uh, so if you come to indonesia and you found that words don't please don't feel confused they usually use that word so i think uh, that's all for today hopefully this can help you and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh